Welcome to today's video. We are going to delve into what you can do when your neighbor's dog wouldn't stop barking. Living in a community means respecting the peace and quiet of your neighbors. But what happens when that tranquility is shattered by the incessant barking of your neighbor's dog? It's a scenario that can test even the most patient saint. Before letting frustration boil over, take a deep breath and consider these steps to resolve the issue effectively. 1. Open communication, a friendly approach. The first step is always communication. Approach your neighbor calmly and politely. Choose a time when you're both relaxed and have a few minutes to chat. Explain that the dog's barking is causing you significant disturbance, affecting your work, sleep, or overall well-being. Be specific about the times and duration of the barking, avoid accusatory language, and focus on finding a solution together. 2. Understanding the root cause. Barring malicious intent, dog barking often stems from boredom, anxiety, or lack of stimulation. Ask your neighbor about the dog's routine. Does it get enough exercise? Is it left alone for extended periods? Is there a specific trigger for the barking, like unfamiliar sounds or people? Understanding the cause will help you find targeted solutions. 3. Suggesting solutions. Don't just highlight the problem. Offer workable solutions. If the dog lacks exercise, suggest a walking schedule or dog park visits. If boredom is the culprit, recommend interactive toys or food puzzles. You could even offer to help walk the dog yourself or contribute towards hiring a dog walker. Remember, a collaborative approach will foster a sense of shared responsibility and increase the likelihood of success. 4. Positive Reinforcement and Training Tips Offer suggestions for positive reinforcement training techniques. Encourage your neighbor to reward the dog for quiet behavior with treats, praise, or playtime. Discourage yelling or punishment, as this can exacerbate the problem. Share resources on basic dog obedience training or recommend reputable trainers in your area. 5. Building bridges and understanding. Remember, your neighbor is likely just as frustrated by the situation as you are. Be patient, understanding, and willing to compromise. Offer your help and support in finding solutions. Building a positive relationship with your neighbor will make the process smoother and more likely to yield lasting results. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. 6. Enlisting support and resources. If your initial attempts at communication fail or the barking persists, consider seeking further support. Local animal control agencies offer mediation services and can help enforce noise ordinances and animal welfare regulations. They can also provide resources on responsible dog ownership and training techniques. 7. Documenting the issue. It's crucial to keep a record of the barking incidents. Note the dates, times, and duration of the barking. This documentation can be helpful if you need to involve authorities or legal counsel later. 8. Knowing your rights. Most communities have noise ordinances that regulate excessive barking. Familiarize yourself with these regulations and understand the procedures for reporting violations. However, remember that legal action should be a last resort, after all other avenues have been exhausted. 9. Maintaining a positive relationship. Throughout the process, prioritize maintaining a positive relationship with your neighbor. Remember, you'll likely continue to live alongside each other, and open communication will be crucial for future peace and harmony. 10. Seeking professional help. For particularly challenging situations, consider consulting a professional dog trainer or animal behaviorist. They can assess the dog's behavior, diagnose the source of the barking, and develop a personalized training plan. Remember, solving a barking dog issue is not just about silencing the noise. It's about understanding the underlying cause, promoting responsible dog ownership, and building stronger community relationships. By approaching the problem with empathy, collaboration, and a willingness to explore solutions, you can restore peace to your neighborhood and foster a more harmonious environment for all. 
Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog-related content. See you next time.